and welcome to Bharata First. This is Frank Rausen Pereira and you're watching FRP Explains. Today I want to applaud the fine work done by the District Magistrate of Tripura. His videos have been circulating on social media for the last couple of days and I must say he's a man of integrity who has carried out his work to the letter and spirit. I have only one question. Would he have done the same if it was the wedding of a politician's child. On the part of the police that they have behaved like this. Sir, how many people were arrested? They will count. How many people are Count Sir, what is the case? I suspect that तुम लोग जो काम कर रहे हो ना अभी काउंट कर बोलो कितने हैं चलो वरना तुम भी जाओ उसके साथ चलो स्पेस नहीं हूं मैं सर वो आ रहा है तुम जो भी हो काउंट करके बोलो आई एम वेरी योर डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट ओके व्हाट इज योर नेम तुम भी जाओगे उसके साथ तुम लोग साले वुड ही हैव डन द सेम इफ इट वाज अ फंक्शन ऑफ द टॉप बिजनेसमैन ऑफ त्रिपुरा बट यू नो टुडे आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इशू दैट इज ऑफ कोर्स ब्यूरोक्रेटिक रिफॉर्म्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड इन आवर कंट्री the bureaucracy that we inherited was from the british that was meant to serve the queen and the british parliament unfortunately that system has continued right until 2021 as well is that the right approach as far as an aspirational india is concerned what was made to serve the british queen and parliament can it serve india today we have progressed leaps and bounds in the last 70 odd years and we have to ensure that our bureaucracy keeps pace as well there are two schools of thought as far as indian bureaucracy is concerned one set of people believe that the bureaucracy is the iron frame of india which is holding the country together without the present set of bureaucrats the country would have been ravaged by the political class the other school of thought of course is that there is corruption nepotism and so much more going wrong with the indian bureaucracy they call it a multi headed beast which has a power to devour anything in its path do we need such a bloated mechanism or an administration is the question that always comes up several studies that have been carried out over the years have suggested that how a bloated bureaucracy will only ensure that there is no economic development that takes place the world bank credits the rise of japan and south korea to a very competent bureaucracy so does it say that the other asian tigers have done well because their bureaucracy has improved over the years a 2012 report says that india performs last or india has the worst performing bureaucracy in the world and that has not changed over the years this is something that we need to change in the times to come several attempts have been made over the years to try and bring about bureaucratic reforms but unfortunately we have not seen the kind of reforms that we would have liked to see significant impact has not been created or made the second uh, administrative reforms commission was set up and uh, came up with many recommendations but mainly limited to staffing we really need to transform the way our bureaucracy works so that it works for the people and not for the political class we all have experience dealing with bureaucracy at some stage or at some point in our life and we know how difficult it is to get through the system and we know there is always a price to be paid either in the form of time money or something that you lose out to to get your job done that of course has to change the perception that we have about the civil services overshadows a few good officers who are doing everything that they possibly can to ensure that they make a difference in the country we need to strengthen their hands we need to embolden them to create a better bharata so what do we need to do to ensure that this happens First I think it's time that we appoint the third administrative reforms commission. So through that what do we need to do? Incentivize good work, fast track promotions, 
ensure that we have a pool of officers or a pool of bureaucrats to choose from so that only the best can be taken forward. Maybe we can club four or five batches together rather than always looking at seniority so that we get the best out of the crop that is available. Lateral entry, of course, is there. It is something that can go on. The government has brought about some changes to the lateral entry at the level at which we are going to take uh, lateral entries into civil society. But the pay scale at the which they will come at doesn't really look like we'll get the best talent. So that is something that possibly needs to be addressed as well. We also need frequent training to take place and we have to invest in specialization. At a time of AI and when we are looking at such tech heavy reforms that are going to take place in the years to come, our bureaucracy and our civil services also need to keep pace and not be left behind. We can't carry dead wood. How long will we continue to carry dead wood? That is something that we need to get rid of to ensure that we have a leaner and a meaner bureaucracy, one that will truly serve the interest of the public. Well, that's it from me. But if you like this content, please like the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon. We also have a UPI ID for those who would like to come forward and contribute to keep this content alive. A small step that you take will ensure that it's a giant leap for Bartha first so that we can continue to bring this content to you. That's it from me. See you again next time.